use of technology and integration in NEP 2020. Technology and education, how they are interrelated. India is a global leader in ICT. We all know information and communication technology and IT in other cutting edge domains as well as the space. The digital India, India is helping to transform the entire country into digitally empowered society and the knowledge economy as well. So digital India is playing a most crucial role. The relationship between technology and education at all levels is bi-directional. It means the emergence, emergence of technology creates great impact in education and vice versa. New technologies involving AI, machine learning, blockchains, smart boards, smart boards, handheld computing devices, and other forms of educational software and hardware will not just change what students learn in classroom, but how they can learn. The way uh, the students can learn, the way the pedagogies are imparted to the, or the pedagogies through which the teaching learning is important to the students will also change by emergence of the new technologies. Use and integration of these technology to improve multiple aspects of education will be supported, adopted and provided in NEP 2020 framework. An autonomous body, the National Education Technology Forum, NETF, National Education Technology Forum, will be created to provide platform for free exchange of ideas on use of this technology to enhance learning, assessment, planning, administration, and so on. So the main aim is to enhance learning, the assessment of teaching learning, planning, monitoring, administration, and so on. To facilitate decision-making on induction, deployment, and use of technology by providing the leadership of educational institutes. The NETF will provide independent evidence-based advice to central as well as state government agencies on technology-based interventions. To build intellectual and institutional capacities, the capacity building up intellect as well as institution in educational technology. To envision strategic thrust areas in these domains and articulate new directions for research and innovation. NETF will also support the development of vibrant body of knowledge and practice and will organize multiple regional and national conferences, workshops, etc., to solicit inputs from national and international educational technology researchers, entrepreneurs, and practitioners so that the best practices on the use of technology in imparting the knowledge can be adopted. The thus technological interventions will be for the purposes of improving teaching, learning, and evaluation processes, supporting teacher preparation, professional development, enhancement of educational access, streamlining educational planning management, and administration, including processes related to admissions, attendance, assessment, etc., are to be emphasized. The platform plays very important role using the technology. So a rich variety of educational software for all the above purposes will be developed and made available for the students as well as the teachers at all levels, at a school as well as higher education. All such software will be available in all Indian major languages and will be accessible to wide range of users, including students in remote areas and the young students also. Teaching learning, that is e-content, will continue to be developed by all states in all regional languages. The platform Diksha, Diksha Digital Infrastructure for Knowledge Sharing, this may be utilized for teachers' professional development through e-content. Suitable equipment will be made available to teachers at schools so that teachers can suitably integrate e-contents into teaching learning practices using this platform. Technology-based education platforms such as Diksha or Swayam will be better integrated across school and higher education. Of course, the disruptive technology has to be taken into consideration while using or integrating the technology into education. So NETF will categorize emerging technologies based on their potential and estimated time frame for disruption. After what time frame, after what time, after how much time, this may become disruptive. And to periodically present their analysis to the MHRD. The MHRD will formally identify the technologies whose emergence demand responses from the education system which are likely to be disruptive after a certain uh, period of time. NRF, National Research Foundation, will initiate or expand research efforts in the technology and may consider a three-prolonged approach, which includes 
approaches which include advancing core ai research developing and deploying application based research and third advancing international research efforts to address global challenges in areas such as healthcare agriculture climate change using ai so that we can deal with the disruptive technology and it does not affect the the impart uh, impart does not affect imparting the quality education role of higher education institutes in imparting the education using technology the higher education institutes will play an active role not only in con conducting research on disruptive technologies but also in creating initial versions of instruction materials courses including online courses in cutting edge domains and assessing their impact on specific areas such as professional education once the technology has attained a level of maturity the institutes with thousands of students will be ideally placed to scale this teaching and skilling efforts which will include targeted training for job readiness the important thing is to create the students as a employable uh, candidates so disruptive technologies will make certain jobs redundant and hence approaches to skilling and de-skilling that are both efficient and ensure quality will be of increasing importance to create and sustain employment so employability is of immense uh, role here the institutions will have autonomy to approve institutional and non institutional partners to deliver such training which will be integrated with the skills and higher education frameworks the course development is also very important in context of using technology in education so the universities will aim to offer phd in master programs in core areas such as machine learning as well as multidisciplinary areas like ai plus some other domain and professional areas like healthcare agriculture and law they may also develop and disseminate courses in these areas via platforms such as diksha and swayam so this lecture is uh, on about on uh, you know use of technology and how the technology can be integrated with the education to better uh, create the impact and to provide quality education to all thank you